let's add to our cheer with a mini quilt. You can use this decoration as a gift tag or to hang on your tree. Let's get started. I'm Andy and this is True Blue Quilts, a place to enjoy, experiment, and excel as you quilt. Today we are making a Christmas tree mini quilt. So you need to draw your own pattern for a basic tree on any printer paper and then collect some scraps of fabric that are big enough to cover all the areas of your pattern. We are ready to paper piece our tree ornament. So we place the first fabric on the paper foundation. The paper goes on the back of the first fabric and pin it in place. Then you fold the paper on the first sewing line and trim one quarter inch seam allowance. So we can see our quarter inch and that's where we line up our second fabric. Fold the paper back out so that you can see the sewing line. You'll just have the little bit of fabric underneath the paper that you're sewing. Those fabrics are right sides together and sew with a little bit shorter stitch length. Press the fabrics open so you can see the right sides of the fabric. You have your seam allowance and you're ready to repeat the process for the next section. Fold on the sewing line, trim that excess fabric away. Fold the paper back into place and you're ready to sew. Press your fabric and we're ready to make the tree trunk. I made sure my background piece was long enough to go across the whole unit with seam allowances and I'm just sewing it to the little scrap of brown that I'm using for the tree trunk. Once we have our tree trunk, we are ready to trim the tree portion and add the two sections together. So find a good place to trim that paper pieced section. Then you can line up the tree trunk approximately in the middle of your tree section and sew those together. Our block is together so we'll want to press that and we're ready to remove the paper. 
make sure I have enough background all the way around and the paper comes off pretty easily works best on a flat surface so that you can gently pull towards the stitches and then once you get all the little bits taken off you can just pop out that center section on one edge it'll come away from the seams and a little bit of tidying up there on the back of our block once the block is pressed we are ready to trim just leave yourself enough of a background there to make whatever size ornament you'd like. About three inches by four inches seems to be a good size. The next step is to do the quilting. So you need batting and backing. Make sure the backing is right side up and the tree is face down. The batting will be the top layer. Stitch around the edge, leaving an opening so that you can turn your ornament right side out, and then hand stitch to close the gap. I have pinned a ribbon loop to the back of my tree and outline stitched the whole square, and now I am quilting around the tree elements, just some basic quilting there for this little ornament. Stitch in the ditch. I don't need the walking foot. It works just fine with the presser foot. If you like to switch that out, that works just as well. About an eighth of an inch away from the edge of that, an eighth to a quarter of an inch away from the edge of your project. A little bit tricky going over the ribbon. And back stitch a couple times to make sure that is secure. A more professional look would be to layer the ribbon inside the ornament before you turn it right side out. Some final trimming and our ornament is ready to go. Merry Christmas! We are celebrating the holidays all month long with a variety of fabric projects from greeting cards to ornaments and more. If you've missed any of the projects so far, just click on the playlist, either on the screen or in the description box below, and hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of our quilting tips and techniques.